SB Rotator rotates the springboard and lock screen on all iOS 8 devices. After installing SB Rotator for iOS 8, you'll notice a new preference panel for the tweak in the stock settings app. Go into the preference panel and you'll find several switches that you can enable or disable to enact certain changes with relation to the rotation on your device. At the top, you'll find a kill switch, and this is the only switch in the preferences that actually requires a respring. All of the other switches don't require resprings. You can enable them or disable them on the fly and they take effect immediately. Now you also have the rotate springboard and rotate lock screen switches. So if I turn both of those off, then I won't be able to rotate my springboard. I have my iPhone upside down right now and it's just staying there or my lock screen. But of course I'm going to turn those back on here and I'm going to go back out to my springboard on my home screen and you can see I can rotate right here. And this is an iPhone 5S, so it doesn't have the rotation ability that an iPhone 6 Plus has. And you can see I can rotate. I can even lock my device and I'm going to rotate here right there on the lock screen. And no device has that ability, even the 6 Plus. Uh, so this SB Rotator for iOS 8 allows you to do that. Now there's also the springboard rotation style. So you can change how the rotation looks on the home screen. Right now I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus rotation, which places the dock on the right side of the screen when in landscape mode, which looks really nice. Everything kind of fits there fairly well. I mean, you still have some overlap with some of the badge notifications. Notice the badge on the settings app overlaps the name of the iTunes store app there, but for the most part, everything fits in quite nicely. Now watch what happens when I switch over to the iPad style. Doesn't look as good here. Watch this. You can see everything's just, just not quite there. Of course, the uh, dock is at the bottom of the screen now, so everything's kind of squeezed in. And it doesn't fit as nicely, and you have some overlap occurring, etc. So definitely don't recommend using the iPad style, especially on smaller devices like the 5S or the 5. Uh, you also have rotation orientation, so you can disable cer certain orientations like left, right, upside down, etc. You have rotation duration, which allows you to adjust the speed of the rotation. So let me show you what that's like. You can really see the the idiosyncratic, uh, the, the look of the rotation uh, in depth when you have the speed set to three seconds. Notice all of the little details of that animation. And you can see how it looks there with that speed set up to three. And if I turn it all the way down, there is no animation. It just occurs instantly for the most part. Uh, doesn't look as good, so I recommend keeping it at default or maybe even turning it up or a little down depending on your preferences. Last but not least, you have rotated applications. So you can turn on or off rotation for uh, certain apps. Now, on smaller devices, you don't get the two up display when in landscape mode. For instance, the settings app on a 6 Plus, you get the iPad inspired two up display where you can navigate here on the settings pres preferences here, uh, going through all the sections on the left side of the screen on, and on the right side of the screen actually access the content. So for instance, if I was here on the landscape mode on the 6 Plus, I would see this screen here and I would also see the content that I was currently in. So for instance, if I tap SB Rotator 8, I would see this on the right side of the screen and I would see this on the left side of the screen and I could see both at the same time on larger screen devices like the 6 Plus. Well, you can't do that on the smaller screen device like the 5S unless you have another jailbreak tweak like Little Brother from Ryan Petrich. So just keep that in mind. It is SB Rotator for iOS 8. It is $2.99 on the Big Boss repo, but good news. If you already purchased a previous version of SB Rotator, then this is actually a free upgrade for those of you who made the prior purchase. It brings springboard and lock screen rotation to all iOS 8 devices. Folks, let me know what you guys think about SB Rotator for iOS 8 down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.